Joe Cerincioni is a nuclear energy expert. Mr. Cerincioni, we appreciate you being with us. Well, the problem, as we understand it, this uh, particular reactor is an inability to cool it. They're putting seawater on it right now to try and cool the temperature. If they can't bring that temperature down, what's the worst case? The worst case is a meltdown, which means that the fuel rods in the reactor heat to such a high temperature that they actually melt together. So you would see the core of the reactor turn into a molten mass that would burn right through the steel reactor vessel and drop into the, con the concrete containment building surrounding that vessel. The very worst case is that the containment building, that concrete box, doesn't hold this radioactive molten mass and the entire uh, uh, core then spews into the environment, uh, putting radioactivity into the ground, the air, and the water. Right now, they are classifying this a four on a scale of zero to seven. Apparently, there is a scale to measure the extent yeah. of nuclear accidents. Does that sound like a fair characterization, characterization that this is not uh, higher on the scale? It sounded like a fair characterization a few hours ago. I say this is easily going to be a five uh, very soon, which is the, the rating we gave Three Mile Island. And if there is an actual meltdown, this clearly goes into the category of six or even the Chernobyl incident, which is a massive meltdown of seven. It depends how many reactors fail. As you noted, they're now telling us there's a second reactor. The latest news is that there's actually a third reactor. So all three nuclear reactors that were operating at this Daiichi uh, facility they announced that they've lost the ability to inject coolant into all of them, and they're preparing various emergency measures as we speak for all three reactors. This is already, if it stops right then, now, one of the worst nuclear disasters we've ever seen. All right, Mr. Cincioni, thank you so much for your expertise. It was good having you on.